Overwatch Season 6 is here, bringing Ilari in a whole lot of new hero changes, so let's discuss who's the strongest in rank. Starting with the D tier, we've got characters that are pretty much going to lose you games if you pick them. The meta, after looking at these patch notes, doesn't seem to be changing too much, and with May, Sombra, Cassidy, and the rest being prominent in ranked, you just aren't going to be getting a lot of value here. Of course, you can really make any hero work in ranked, but if you are looking for heroes that are going to push the limits fast, these are the ones you'll want to avoid. Moving on to the C tier, we start with characters that I feel are pretty situational and ranked. If people aren't running hard meta or it is the right map for the character, these characters will pop off. Symmetra is one of those characters where if you're on Lijong or the enemy isn't running a hard dive composition, you can really fry some people down. But when you start climbing higher, it starts to get a little harder to pull off. As for the rest of the heroes you see, they're just all right. There's nothing crazy notable about them, but they aren't necessarily a free loss either. Honestly, Lifeweaver might go up a little bit into B tier now too, but looking at the numbers, I just don't see him outperforming the top anytime soon. B tier though is when things get pretty interesting. These are characters that I feel aren't the best every single game, but can really throw your enemies for a spin when picked at the right time. D.Va is going to have an easier time pressuring Winston off of your team when he looks to dive in after her new changes, and she might see some increase in presence. On top of this, with Cassidy getting a bit more HP to work with, he will also start seeing playtime as well against Dive, especially in ranked. As for the rest of the characters here, they don't really get run over by Dive as hard and do pose some threat to fighting back, or are like Soldier in the sense that they are pretty easy to pick up and get the value you need to win in ranked games. Now that we are moving into the A tier, we are talking about characters that will definitely be seeing some playtime. Realistically, both the S and the A tier are pretty similar in power level, it just depends on the map. In A, I put a lot of Brawl characters because I feel as though Dive is a lot stronger the higher you go, and I I find more success with it personally. Echo is very flexible and can be played with virtually anything. Moira and Lucio also have a very easy time living in any composition, which is also a problem most support players nowadays are struggling with given the strong characters we have been talking about thus far. The main character I do want to talk about though is Torbjorn. I could definitely see this guy being an absolute sleeper pick and dominating ranked games with his new changes. I might be gassing him up too much, but the support he provides to your healers in the backline with his pesky turret is sure to put the characters in S tier for a world. Lastly, here are the best characters in my opinion going into season. Six. Dive looks like it's still on top. The changes we saw to it might hurt its dominance a little bit, but nothing was so big to the point that the composition is completely gutted. Ana is consistent with her nades, which is the reason why she is played, and this aspect hasn't changed at all. In ranked, I might advocate for the Echo pick over the Sombra due to the lack of coordination, but nonetheless, you really can't go wrong with any of these characters in S tier. They will always be good in ranked, and these are the cream of the crop. I didn't put Alari on this list just because she won't be in ranked for two weeks, but if I had to put her somewhere, it wouldn't be very high. I feel as though she does really well in compositions where she can surround the enemy or play for poke due to her mobility that pushes teams away and keeps her safe. That being said, however, she still has a very easy time being overwhelmed by the enemy and is going to struggle in that regard considering the S tier picks we discussed. Only time will tell, but these are my first impressions. I hope you all are enjoying the new content we got along with season 6. Hilari is actually really fun, so I'm hoping to start cooking up some content for her shortly. If that is something you are interested in, you know what to do to stick around, but until next time, I've got a peace out and pass out. I'll see you in the next one.